UB's 24-hour shuttle service between North and South campuses is back on weekends. The university had to put the brakes on the so-called drunk bus during Fridays and Saturdays following neighborhood complaints about noise and underage drinking. As News 4's Jen Sean shows us, there is mixed reviews about the shuttle's return. For UB students, the return of what they call the drunk bus means a safe, free ride home from parties. Freshmen from North come down to party, and the buses are a great way for them to get back to the North pretty safely. This area is known for parties and drinking, and that's what you do in college. Everyone drinks in college, everyone parties. But for residents who live near South Campus and aren't students, it's a different story. I'm scared. It's been a miracle the last month. Before the start of the fall semester, the university postponed the shuttle service on Fridays and Saturdays after complaints of underage drinking and loud noise in the neighborhood around South Campus. Yes. Travis Ballard, a UB graduate, has lived in this area for years. He feels a lot of these students aren't held accountable for the headache they cause their neighbors. If these were or had been hundreds of black students roaming around this neighborhood, the response to them would have been drastically different. Ballard says in general, though, this year has been better than last, at least so far. 99.99999% of these students are great, great neighbors. It's a pleasure to live among them. And sometimes that gets, uh, that gets lost in the problems. One of those problems, he says, is students not picking up after their parties. The bus will now run every 30 minutes, seven days a week. According to a statement from UB, it's intended to transport students between campuses for work or study. But the students we spoke to say the previous buses were used largely to go to and from parties. These shuttles will have half the capacity of the stampede buses. And according to the university, there will be no option to stand. Taylor Bonacore lives on the North Campus and says when the weekend service was suspended in August, she and her friends relied on ride sharing. I feel like we just got used to taking Ubers and it's much more convenient to just get picked up at your hall, dropped off right at the party rather than taking a bus, waiting for the bus in the cold when it snows. It's just a lot more convenient, but it is expensive. Now that the weekend shuttle is back, she plans on taking it. Ballard, who says his garden is often littered after parties, is hopeful that the 99% majority will shine through. Reporting in Buffalo, Jen Schantz, News 4.